water. Oh, now I'll never get to sleep. Don't worry, Trisha. It's okay. <laughs> Big tree star keep us all dry. <laughs> oh. Oh. Tree. Oh. Oops. Me sorry. Look, Spike. The sky water makes the groundwater dance. <laughs> wow, Ruby, there sure is a lot of sky water coming down. That's sky water, Chomper. It just keeps coming down until it doesn't. Well, at least the secret caverns keep us safe from Red Claw. Which is good, since I promised your mom and dad I'd keep us safe from Red Claw. Yeah, and tonight they're keeping us dry, too. Huh? Look! The stone teeth are dripping. Let's see. Oh dear, now your tail is dripping. Ah! I gotta make it stop! Wait, Chomper! <laughs> get to sleep. All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow all the way home. To the land. a long time last night. It did, it did. Well, me might like sky water if it's not so wet. Well, Petrie, the bright circle is out now, so it'll dry everything up. Right, Sarah? It better, little foot. My tree stars are soggy. <laughs> hey! Those tree stars are not yours to eat, dome heads. No, no, no. It did. Thank you for the thank you, Ducky. <laughs> Having tree stars to share is always good. Yep, yep, yep. Hello, my friends, my friends, hello. Hi, Ruby. Hi. Hey, Chomper, what's wrong? Not much, I guess. I just need to find a new cave to live in. Hmm. There is always something wrong with Chomper's cave. Yup, yup, yup. Not always. Ruby and me are really happy our families let us stay in the secret caverns. Mm-hmm. Especially with Red Claw and his fast biters scaring everyone in the mysterious beyond. Okay, so what's wrong with your cave this time? It's leaky. It's a cave. How bad can it be? Come on, I'll show you. The water started coming in during the big sky water last night. I could not sleep with the dripping sound either. No, no, no. It was worse last night. Yes. Though there might have been less water if Chomper hadn't made those holes. Ugh. Yeah, so I 
thought we could go exploring and look for a new cave. Explore the, the secret caverns? I don't know, Chomper. It'll be fun, an adventure. I want to go adventuring, adventuring, adventuring. I want to go adventuring and find a brand new cave. Will there be things with glowing eyes that use the dark as a disguise? And try catch Petri by surprise? I don't think See funny rocks or waterfalls. There's more to see. Come on with me. So if you go adventuring, adventuring, there's just one thing you know that you are going to have to do. You're gonna have to take a song with you. We want to go. Okay, too dark. We go back now. I think we should try this way. Okay, but the air is fresher this way. I think we should go the way we can see best. <laughs> Hey, Spike, nice job. Yeah, yeah great. <laughs> going the way we can see will let us see the way we're going. Sarah? I suppose. Okay, then let's go this way. Ruby, you said what I said, but biggerer, and everyone listened. If I could talk big, everyone would listen to me too. That would be good. <laughs> as long as the big isn't so big that you scare everyone. Like Red Claw? Yeah, like Red Claw. find a good cave. Good cave? <laughs> I don't think there is such a thing. Hey, guys, you have to see this. This is what we have to see? I think we can all fit. Follow me. <laughs> what is this place? It's a cave of many voices. Listen! Hello! 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 Wow, a talkback! A big talkback! Hauga! Hauga! Oh no! What was that? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was some roar, Ducky! Yeah, even I'm impressed! Oh, I sound big now! Yes, yes, yes! If I can talk big in here, Ruby, can you show me how to talk big in the Great Valley? You just think I talk big because I'm bigger than you. But if you were bigger than you, you'd talk bigger too. Hmm? But then... It wouldn't be big to you. Then, can you try to help me talk big, please? I guess I can try. <laughs> Me great flyer! 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 Woohoo! Tree Star! 
<laughs> you know, all the shouting is making me thirsty. And hungry, too. Don't look at me. <laughs> Chomper, out in Great Valley, me saw a nest full of stinkily buzzing things you might like. Gee, that sounds great. Then let's go. Those stinky, buzzy things were spicy, but good. Uh, not sure me want to hear details, but you're welcome. So who's ready to go explore the cavern some more? Uh, uh. <laughs> we're still eating, Chomper. You flat teeth sure take a long time to eat. Say, Chomper, why don't you go on ahead and we'll catch up with you? Great idea, Littlefoot! Uh, where Ruby and Ducky? <sighs> Ducky, I've thought about it, and here's what I think. To talk big, you need to feel big inside. So if you can think big, you can talk big, too. I can think of big things, like that tree. It is big. Good. Now be the tree. <gasps> uh, I cannot be a tree. No, no, no. But you can pretend to be as big as the tree, right? Oh, pretend. I am a tree. Okay. Now that you're feeling big, let's talk big. Like this. Fill your body big with air. <gasps> And you let it go from there. Open wide so you can say that you're feeling big today. I'm talking big. One more try. Stand up straight, now don't be shy. Your big voice will make you proud. Let it sing out loud. I am talking big. Now you're talking big. Big, like a big, big tree. Really, really big. Big like Zorus Rock. Big like the biggest Ooh. big. Tree stars? Oh, yeah, sure. Here. Hey, are you trying to talk differently, Ducky? <gasps> oh, yes, I am. Oh, yes, yes. I, I mean, yes, Sarah. Since I feel big now, I am going to talk big, too. <clears throat> well, it might be more convincing if you were a little taller. She'll be taller one day. Guys! Guys! Guess what? I found a new cave to live in. Come on, you gotta see it. Uh, gee, Chomper. It's pretty nice. Yeah, for a cave. Don't you just love it? And best of all, no stone teeth! <laughs> 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 Like someone else is in the secret caverns. Well, there's only one way to find out who it is. That whole spike made seem 
seems a lot bigger. That's the mysterious beyond out there. Oh no, it's Red Claw. Fast biters. Let's go. We don't want them to see us up here. We cannot let those sharp teeth stay in here. No, no, no. Don't talk big now, ducky. Oh, Sarah! while you guys get help. Hold him off? Like an appetizer? Ugh. Listen, we gotta stick together. If only the Cave of Many Voices could make our bodies as big as it makes our voices. Ducky, that's it. Remember how your big talkback scared Petrie? Oh, me remember that. If we lead Red Claw and his fast biters toward the Cave of Many Voices, we can go inside and make it sound like there are more of us. And bigger of us. Uh, we roar like we big and angry? No problem. Not problem for you. Tell Red Claw to leave because a big and angry. 
angry herd is on its way. Okay. <laughs> so brave, Ducky. Yeah, we never make it into cave without you sneaking in first. <laughs> Sometimes being little is better than talking big. But I know I will always be big in here. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> like a big hopper. That doesn't look like a hopper. You must use your imagination, Sarah. Yep, yep, yep. It won't look like what it's supposed to look like unless you can imagine it. I still don't see a hopper. Okay, Ducky, your turn. <gasps> that one looks like sweet bubbles. <laughs> oh, I I'm sorry, Spike. It only looks like sweet bubbles, but it is not. No, no, no. Yeah. But maybe you can find some in the trees. <laughs> hey! Look at that one! Chomper! And he is eating the sweet bubbles. But I don't even like sweet bubbles. <laughs> no! Petrie? Spike? Spike, what you do? Oh, no! No! All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow. Tree stars. And? Everyone know you know eat tickly tree stars. Tickly tree stars, bad luck. Everyone know that. No one knows that. I've seen this before. It's rare and very sweet. But it doesn't bring bad luck. <gasps> 
Spike, no! Give me bad luck, tree star! Oh. See? Me not fall if Spike not eat tree stars. That's not why you fell. Look, Petrie, if Spike doesn't eat any more tickly tree stars, will huh? you stop talking about bad luck? No, it's not okay. Me Uncle Toronto, no leaf eater who no leaf eater who eat it and get bad luck. <laughs> Uncle Toronto, that guy's full of crazy stories. Me no, and me not stop thinking about them. So try to think about something you're not thinking about. Like what? What about a different story? Ruby is a good storyteller. Yup, yup, yup. Sure. How about one that takes place in the mysterious beyond? Chomper and I were on our way to the Great Valley, and Red Claw was trying to stop us. What is that smell? I don't smell anything, but your sniffer does smell more smells than mine. Ew, it's awful. More awful than getting caught by Red Claw? Then follow me while I lead. Water just jumped out of the ground? <laughs> you have some imagination, Ruby. But I saw it too. Yeah, right. Well, maybe it's something you have to see yourself to know you saw it. Huh? You want us to go to the mysterious beyond just to see waters jump? No, Sarah. Though, it's really not that far into the mysterious beyond. Yeah, it's just beyond the sheltering grass. I would like to see the waters that jump into the sky. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> I'd like to see it too. I don't believe you guys are serious about this. You'll believe it when you see it. Adventuring, adventuring. <laughs> Tree stumps. And what if bad luck come with us? Don't make a fuss. I know the meadow's really there. There's jumping water everywhere. You'll never know unless you go. So if we go adventuring. Okay, fine. Let's go see this water that supposedly jumps. <gasps> I cannot wait to see water that jumps. Yup, yup, yup.
What's wrong, Ruby? Uh, nothing. Just, <sighs> this tree isn't as familiar as I remembered it. We lost. We lost. Oh, this is Spike's fault. He ain't bad luck tree stars. <laughs> <sighs> How can we be lost when we're going somewhere that doesn't even exist? Oh, wait. We just go this way. And we're on our way. See, Petrie? Nothing bad has happened. There's no reason to be scared of bad luck. It have been a good trip so far. Maybe bad luck get lost instead of us. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we have good trip. <gasps> it's okay. It's probably just... want to go back, that's okay with us. Me too! Well, I'm not a scaredy egg. Petrie, big scaredy egg. Oh, too big a scaredy egg to go back alone, that for sure. Hey, oh, wait for me! Something bad happened? <sighs> no, everything's fine. Let's go. Littlefoot, you are not walking the way you usually do. Don't don't worry about it. <gasps> we wouldn't have to worry if we knew what not to worry about. I stepped on a ground prickly. <gasps> oh, no, no, no! Shh. It, it doesn't hurt that bad. But if Petrie finds out... Mm, he'll think it's bad luck that brought you bad luck. <laughs> Me feel bad. Spike so hungry. Yeah, and whose fault is that? If you weren't so afraid of bad luck, maybe he could eat. <gasps> Spike, maybe you find delicious no bad luck tree star there. <laughs> log on your head. Because Spike have bad luck. And because me think they're tree stars in log. Careful, Spike! Duck! <laughs> Spike! Up! Down! No! See? Spike never should eat bad luck plant. No, Petrie. You're saying that he has bad luck is the problem. Huh? It's all Spike's fault! <laughs> Surprise, Skywater! Happens all the time! And the Sky Puppy 
trees we saw earlier usually mean sky water later. But still... Uh, could we talk about this somewhere drier? Look! The water's jumping! If Ruby says there is water that jumped, then I know there is. And I want to see it. <laughs> well, we're not going anywhere with all this. Sky water? Hey! The bright circle is coming out from behind the sky, Puffies. Then we will go see the waters that jump. Yup, yup, yup. But nothing else better happen. The sky water caused the running mud. That's all. But what caused the sky water? <laughs> and sky fire. Sky fire bad luck. And you got a ground prickly in your foot. <gasps> ground prickly? Oh, that very bad luck. Thanks, Ducky. Well, we're not having all bad luck. The running mud slid us all the way to the end of the sheltering grass. Okay. Everybody ready? I think yes. so. Yes. No. Well, let's get this over with. Everything's going to be fine. Oh, everything fine. Everything fine, everything fine, everything fine, everything fine, everything fine. We're almost where we're going. I think she's right. Because I can smell something. It's not so bad once you get past the stinky pools, remember? That sure smells bad. Yup, yup, yup. I still don't see jumping water. <gasps> wow. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Just wait. You still have to see what you haven't seen yet. Now, do you believe the jumping waters exist, Sarah? Yep, yep, yep. 
Uh-oh, Spike. The stinky pools have made you stinky. Worse than usual. See? Bad luck. All oh, this day doomed from the start. Let's just get him cleaned up. <laughs> Stay there. <laughs> <laughs> Does he still smell bad? We get the mud off. <coughs> oh. No, oh, he still smell. Bad luck. Well, we have to go home now anyway. Is I can still smell him. From now on, everybody listen to Petrie. Petrie right. Spike make bad luck when he eat tickly red tree stars. You know, Petrie, I... <laughs> You do, Chomper. Sharp teeth like you can smell things much better than we do. So if we don't like the smell, Red Claw must hate it. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank, thank you! Spike. Oh, Spike! It's good luck you fell in mud and smell so bad. Wait! First it was bad luck, now it's good luck? It wasn't good luck. It was good thinking, right, Spike? <laughs> First time for everything. Good luck, bad luck, me no care, as long as we safe. Thank you, Spike. <laughs> Your smell is not so bad. No, no, no. if we don't explore anything. But we are exploring the caves. Well, I'm bored with the caves. <sighs> <sighs> See, this is better. 
<laughs> oh, the bright circle is much brighter out here. Well, we have been in the caves longer than we have been out of them. Hey, wait for me! Do you want some help? Perhaps some help would help you. It's not too high. There you go. I've never been here before. That's the point of having an adventure. Say, this place reminds me of some place. Maybe you've been here before. Hmm, maybe. But everywhere I've been in the Great Valley, you've been too. It does not look familiar to me. No, no, no. Red Claw! Now I remember this place! It's... <gasps> the Mysterious Beyond! Run! All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow on our way home. To the land before time. Before time. under these trees.
You can say that again. Oof. Where's Chomper? <laughs> Me not see Ducky neither. Chomper! Ducky! Over here! What are you doing way up there? Are you okay? I think so. Are you all unhurted too? <laughs> A little shaken by the earth shake, but we're okay. I think we lost Thud. That's good. Except, well, we're up here. And there is no way off. No, no, no. There must be another way around to that ledge. There is always another way. Unless that is the only way. Don't worry, we'll find a way. I do not like being up so high. No, no, no. I think it's kind of neat. Uh, besides, our friends will help us. from his claws. And his teeth. There is not very much room for us and Thud. And Thud's teeth. Oh, I do not like being this close to a sharp tooth. Oh, well, this close to a mean one, I mean. <laughs> just came this way. That dumb old earth shake changed everything. That earth shake also helped us escape Thud. You have to take the good with the bad. Otherwise, you won't get to take anything. Hmm. Another one? Oh, me want to go. Circles. That good. But Chopper and Ducky know here. 
We no go back. Not without our friends. Okay. But they on high and rocky ledge. Me no know how to help them. Neither do I. But we'll find a way. That ridge that leads back towards them might help us reach them. Then let's go. But I wish I could help him. If we do, he'll just eat us sooner. He's a sharp tooth. That's what they do. You are also a sharp tooth, and that is not what you do. Oh, he sounds more herded. Well, he does have rocks on his tail. <laughs> Just hold on tight, it will be all right. What if we are stuck here all night? That nasty thud gave me a fright. And he is much too big to fight. Ducky, don't be afraid. I'm sure our friends are on the way. Stay close to me and you will see. Everything will be okay. We will be Rescue us. <laughs> but they are our friends. Is that not what friends do? I guess not in the mysterious beyond. <laughs> That's why Petrie no like adventures. Wish me not go adventuring, adventuring, adventuring. Me not go adventuring, me not be here right now. Petrie, please, you must be brave while we still have. Can go to 
jungle trees lead us back to cliffs. Nice work, Ruby. Don't thank me yet. We still have to save Ducky and Chomper. Oh, I am sorry you are in pain. But I am not sorry you cannot reach us and then eat us. No, no, no. He said I'm too little, and he's right. If he gets loose, I'm too little to protect us. Or help us get out of here. I'm too little to do anything. You are sad about being little, but that is only on the outside. Today, you've been big enough on the inside to make me feel safe. You have, you have. Hey! Are you all right? I am now! <laughs> oh, behind you! Me see Thud! Thud! Don't worry, Thud won't hurt us. Maybe it's a different Thud? He cannot get to us. He is stuck. <laughs> Me stay late, just in case. And we will rescue you. Also, just in case. That one, Spike! Big. Our friends may be littler than Red Claw, but they always help us because they are big inside. gladder together when we are someplace else together, like home.
Red Claw and Fudd had us for sure. Me too. This is the place we left, right where we left it. Little hatchlings first. That's me. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Sound right. Yeah, where did it go? There's only one way to find out. Come on. <gasps> wow! Would you look at that? Oh. Let's go! <laughs> 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 This isn't very big at all. <laughs> Me like it. Our special little hidden place. I've never seen this kind of tree. Hmm, <laughs> smells good. Ew! You leaf eaters sure have a strange sense of smell. I think the tree sweets smell yummy. I think they do, too. I do, I do! Mm. 
Your sniffers must be broken. It smells so bad it makes my head hurt. Ugh, I'm gonna go. <gasps> Wait for me, Chomper. I can't keep an eye on you if I can't see you. We'll meet up with you after we're through exploring. Secret, but there aren't enough tree sweets here for everyone, so what's the use in telling them? Hmm, I guess you have a point. Of course I do. No need to make a big deal about a few hidden tree sweet trees. Oh, I eat it too much. <laughs> Ducky, Spike, I was getting worried. Where have you been? We were playing toss the seed. Then you must be very hungry. I gathered these especially for you. <laughs> oh, my favorite. times we come back, the better these tree sweets taste. I'm glad you ate so much. It doesn't smell so bad anymore. <sighs> Ugh, still doesn't smell good, though. Then we'll just have to keep eating. Right, Spike? Are you two feeling all right? You haven't been eating much lately. We have not been hungry. You and Spike not hungry? <laughs> uh, yes. All of the stop the seat playing makes us less hungry. <sighs> Mama? There's something Spike and I should... Oh, no! It can't be! Not here! Happy oh, Riders! Riders! They're here! Oh. 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 Fast Spiders in the Great Valley? Keep moving! 
Get the hatchlings and the young ones to safety. The rest of you, fall in behind me and Grandpa Longneck. Time to show some fast biters that they're not welcome here. Hey, you, fast biters. You all know what to do. Hungry and sorry tonight. Those sneaky fast biters got clean away. We've searched everywhere. They must have found a way into the valley we don't know about. It's been a long time since any sharp teeth got into the Great Valley. This is a very dangerous development. We've seen those fast biters with Red Claw. <laughs> and Red Claw is the biggest and meanest sharp tooth of them all. So if they're here, he's not far behind. <laughs> then we need to find out how the fast biters are getting in and out. Until we know, we'll have to keep an eye out day and night. Spike, do you want this? Hmm? I I'm not hungry. What, Spike? What, what, what? <laughs> it's another passageway. But where does this one lead? Oh, no. Oh, no. There's a second way out of our hidden place, and it goes to the mysterious beyond. Uh-oh. And that's not all. Fast Biter Prince. If the Fast Biter's gotten here, then they could find their way into the Great Valley. That's how they got in last night. Oh, we leave now. Me scared. What we do now? We know how the Fast Biter's got into the valley. We have to warn everyone. But what if they get mad at us? I guess that's a risk we'll just have to take. <sighs> we made a big mistake. It is more than an oops eats. We've got to go. Tell everyone what we found here. Even though they will be mad at us. How were we to know? Sharp teeth could get in. It's too late now. To argue, we must let the others know what we know. If only we not keep the trees weeds all for ourselves, we might be where we are right now. We've got to try, apologize. I'll say you made a mistake. No one is supposed to eat the tree sweets in the hidden canyon. You say you saw footprints? Yeah. Fast spider footprints. Children, how much of the tree sweets did you eat? Uh, a lot. What's that got to do with anything? Those tree sweets have a smell that sharp teeth don't like. In fact, it makes them sick. I believe that. 
But if there aren't many tree sweets left, the smell won't stop Sharp Teeth from coming into the Great Valley. What? Oh, no! Grandma, you warn the others. Mr. Threehorn and I will check on the Hidden Canyon. At least now we know how the Sharp Teeth got in. Well, there are still some tree sweets up here. Well, you can hardly smell them. No wonder it didn't keep the sharp teeth away. <sighs> we'll just have to find another way to keep the sharp teeth out. That screech is screech! The fast fighters are back! There's no time to get away. <laughs> Littlefoot, you and your friends go back and get help. Mr. Threehorn and I will make sure you get away. Yes, we can stop the sharp teeth, at least for a while. Now go. Stand the tree sweets. Yeah. <laughs> 
like fun. Toss me a piece. Yes, Littlefoot. We have to make sure there's no way for Sharp Teeth to get into the valley. We can never, ever go back to our special hidden place. No, no, no. Now that the hidden canyon has been closed off, the Great Valley is once again safe from sharp teeth. My friends and I want to apologize for putting everyone in danger. We didn't tell everyone about the tree sweets we found. We so, so sorry. Well, you should be sorry. I'm getting too old to tangle with sharp teeth. But, Daddy, you are so brave the way you fought Red Claw. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, it was nothing, really. <laughs> there I was, face to face with Red Claw. Oh. Now, the trick to fighting sharp teeth is not to let them think you're afraid. So uh, I marched right up to that big bully and I looked him right in the eye. He knew who was boss. Using only your sniffer. No getting distracted by green food. I have hide it. Come and find me. Now remember, Spike, listen to the sniffer. <laughs> Mr. Three 
Horn. Spike thought you were Ducky. You're getting better at sniffing, Spike. At least Mr. Threehorn isn't green food. Huh. I'm not any kind of food. Uh, right. And I'd never eat you, even if you were. Oh, kids. Don't worry, Spike. You just have to keep trying. I am still hiding. Yes, yes, yes. I know you can do it, Spike. Come and find me, Spike. <laughs> Remember, Spike, listen only to the sniffer. <laughs> I believe he's gathering tree stars with Grandpa. This will be Chomper's very first time of great giving. Oh, how wonderful. Yeah, so what's it all about? Well, many bright circles ago, everyone in the Great Valley learned an important lesson about caring for one another. And now we celebrate being able to share with each other and not having to worry about sharp teeth. Yeah, I guess sharp teeth can be a problem sometimes. Yes, they're horrible, vicious creatures. Uh, I'm gonna go find a little foot. Oh, but I, I didn't mean him. Chomper? Oh my. for the time of Great Giving Feast. Wanna help? Nah, us sharp teeth can't tell the good tree stars from the bad ones. <laughs> when I was a hatchling, sharp teeth kept us from eating the tree stars. <sighs> we had to eat swamp sticks. Ew. <sighs> Finally. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Hey, Chomper, come on! You don't want to miss the feast, do you? I guess not. <laughs> mm. Nothing but green food. Chomper, sit with me! <gasps> <laughs> Come along, children. It's not safe to play with sharp teeth. Maybe I should go back to the mysterious beyond, Ducky. Nobody wants me here. Oh, no, no, no! The mysterious beyond is not safe, Chomper. It is full of bad sharp teeth, like Red Claw. Yeah, I know, but I'm a sharp tooth. Yes, but you are a nice sharp tooth. And you are our friend. You even teach us things you know. Like today, you teach Spike how to use his sniffer to find me. Yeah, I guess. You are a very good teacher, Chomper. You are, you are. Say. If I can teach Spike how to use a sniffer, maybe I can teach Sharp Teeth how to be nice. Oh, I do 
sure not think. Thanks for the great idea, Ducky. You're really smart. I am? <laughs> oh, thank you, Spike. <laughs> Once I teach Sharp Teeth how to be friends, the mysterious beyond will be as nice as the Great Valley. <laughs> Has anyone seen Chomper? I've looked everywhere I can see, and I can't see him anywhere. He left the Great Giving early. You said something about teaching Sharp Teeth how to be friends. Sharp Teeth? Friends? Me no like sound of that. Me neither. We better find him fast. How are we going to do that? We can sniff for him. Spike finded me with his sniffer, so he can find Chomper too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Spike's able to sniff out anything he can't eat. Oh, but he can. Chomper taught him how. You can sniff him, Spike, I know. Your sniffer knows the way to go. Do it like you did before. And we will find him for sure. Go sniff him out. I do not have a doubt. You can sniff Chomper out. Your sniffer is... Chomper stood today. Okay, Spike, now sniff away. Look at that! He's got the scent. Show us where he went. Go sniff him out. You can sniff him out. Do not have a doubt. There can be no doubt. You can sniff Chomper out. Sniff and sniff him out. You can show us how. I thought I would have seen some sharp teeth by now. Oh well, I'll find some sharp teeth to teach tomorrow. <sighs> After a good night's sleep. Uh, sorry, I didn't know anyone lived here. But maybe we can be friends?
Is that where Chomper went, Spike? Mm. Okay. Now let's go. Teach Red Claw to be friendly. but we haven't seen any shark teeth yet. Oh, that not funny. That great. Yeah, I'm sure Chomper's okay. Wasn't such a good idea.
Chomper! Where are you? I'm, uh, down here. I mean, I, I don't know where I am. <coughs> Spike, is that you? <coughs> Spike, you can find me. Remember, just let your sniffer be your eyes and ears. <coughs> Get down there. Hmm. <gasps> Spike, this is no time to eat. We're trying to figure out. Spike? You chomper, we were, we were. We looked everywhere we could see for you, but we couldn't see you. So we had to smell for you instead. You were right, Ducky. You are my friends, and those sharp teeth don't care about me at all. And I can't teach them anything. <gasps> I've heard that sound before. We gotta get out of here. Ground move. What do we do now? Well, we can't stay here, that's for sure. Everybody jump! We've got to get down this mountain fast. Everybody, slide! Slide, Spike, slide! Me no slide, me fly! There's gotta be a better way to... Oh, wait for me! Enough of this hard water to last me a lifetime. <sighs> well, at least we're all alive to enjoy our lifetimes. We better keep moving. Unless Chomper here can teach Red Clawness Pal some manners. Oh no. I don't think I'm ready to teach Sharp Teeth how to get along. Or maybe they're not ready to be taught. Either way, I think we should head home. You left the time of great giving before we could give you your feast, Chomper. We found your favorite things because that's what you like. Wow, thanks everyone.
I thought I'd see him again. There was all sorts of trouble the last time he was here. <laughs> well, I hope he doesn't bring any bad luck with him this time. Good game, guys! Yeah, next time Spike's on our team. <laughs> I do not think so. Oh, no, no, no. Guys! Guys! <laughs> He's coming back! Who's coming back? Where have you guys been? Doc's coming back. Doc? Huh? You mean the lone dinosaur? All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Streams to follow our way home. To the land before time. Long ago, everyone thought the Great Valley's good luck had run out because Saurus Rock had been damaged. I tried to bring our luck back by taking a tooth from a dead sharp tooth. The only problem was the sharp tooth wasn't dead. tried to save me. But he had to fight two shark teeth. That's when Doc showed up. anyone again. Thanks to Grandpa and Doc, the Lone Dinosaur. How exciting! Now I know why everyone's so excited. So where did the Lone Dinosaur go? Where's he been? He never stay in one place very long. And he is always alone. He is, he is. Well, yeah, that's why he's the Lone Dinosaur. But wherever there's trouble with sharp teeth, he'll be there. You said trouble, right? Yep, he always seems to know when sharp teeth are coming here. Uh, you don't think. Don't worry, Chomper. I think he'd understand about you. I don't know. Mm. How is Doc supposed to know Chomper's different? I'll tell him. Doc doesn't seem like the kind of long neck who likes to be told. He's after me, isn't he? Of course not. Could be. He'd never pick on a kid. But he'd always pick on a sharp tooth. Whatever's going to happen won't happen until it does. So let's all just get a good night's sleep so we're all well rested. Okay. You're right, Ruby. Good night, everyone. Good night, good night everybody. Don't worry, it'll be okay. If Doc's as good as they think, I'm sure he'll think you're good too. Huh? <sighs> Don't worry, it'll be okay. Don't worry, it'll be okay.
He's coming for me! He's coming for me! Ugh. Who's the he that's coming for you? The Lone Dinosaur! <gasps> he is? Where is he? He was in my sleep story, and he tried to crush me with his tail! That does sound scary, Chomper. But it was a sleep story, and now you're awake. So, you shouldn't worry. Unless you fall asleep again. Or unless he's really coming after me! <gasps> Hi, everybody. Chomper had a scary sleep story that the lone dinosaur was coming to get him. So did I. Really? Was he trying to crush you with his tail? Um, no. He was trying to crush you. <gasps> huh? He's coming! He's coming for me! <gasps> Could be. No, he's not, Sarah. He only come for sharp teeth in past. See? So what do you want to do? Try to hide Chomper until Doc's gone? That's a great idea! Then that's what we should do. Okay. I'll try to distract Doc while you guys hide Chomper. So Doc's big enough that I'd see him coming, right? Oh, <laughs> yes. He is very, very big. Kid, by the way, have you seen a long neck named Dara around? No. Who's Dara? Well, she's my lady friend. Huh? Lady friend? Yep. She's the prettiest long neck these tired eyes have ever seen. I remember the first time I saw her. Her big blue eyes sparkled brighter than the big water itself. She understands my need to roam and has been my traveling partner for a while now. A lonely long neck couldn't ask for much more. But how can you have a partner? You're supposed to be out there alone. Well, I was for a long time. Right, and that's why you were able to keep an eye out for any sharp teeth causing trouble. Just the same, kid. You care to help me find Dara? She's a stranger to these here parts. Let's hope she hasn't run into any trouble. But, Doc, if you're busy spending time with Dara, how are you going to have time to protect all the other leaf eaters? Hmm. She said she'd meet me here. You can't be the lone dinosaur if you're not alone anymore. Still no sign of Dara. Best we keep looking. What are they doing? 
doing? Uh, me think they're looking for something. He's coming for me. Aha! Uh -huh. I was right all along. will not let Doc hurt you. Oh, no, no, no. Littlefoot's probably too little to stop Doc. Right. That's why we better find a place to hide Chomper. I really don't think she's here. Maybe she decided not to come. Hmm. She said she'd meet me here. So unless there's a problem, that's just what she'll do. He's even bigger than he was in my scary sleep story. And that's why we have to hide you. Now, where would Doc not think to look for a small little sharp tooth? <gasps> of course! The rocks! Quick, everyone gather around Chomper and we'll all move together. Okay, everyone be very quiet. Chomper's life is depending on it. It is! Yes! Shh! Oops. What was that? Uh... Minor earth shake? Been through enough of those. Let's keep looking. Okay, what is it? Will we all fit? Oh, good thing me family not home today. Your good idea was really a good idea, Petrie. It was, it was. <laughs> Phew! I can finally calm down. We'll see. This way up high. Doc not find us here. Not find who where. <laughs> you found me. You are supposed to keep Doc away. I know, but you promised. I'm sorry, Chomper, but it's going to be okay. Doc's not looking for you. He's looking for his lady friend, Dara. Right, Doc? <sighs> Doc? I can't believe you're friends with a sharp tooth. What do you mean? I mean, there's no use being friends with him. You're just gonna have to fight him someday. No, I'm not. Chomper's my friend and always will be. Yeah! And I'll never fight my friends. Yeah, of course he wouldn't. Neat trick, teaching him to talk. Oh, he learned it all on his own. See? He is different. He is, he is. <gasps> Maybe I can even use my sniffer to help you find your friend. Hmm. That'll be the day. What will? The day I ever accept help from a sharp tooth. But I'm telling you, Chomper's different. 
I ain't never had a good experience with a sharp tooth, and I don't reckon I'll start having one now. Let's go, little foot. No. <clears throat> I'm not helping you anymore. Have it your way, kid. You know, I still think I could use my sniffer to help. That would show, Doc. Me want to help? Oh, me too. <laughs> what do you say, little foot? Just because you won't help Doc doesn't mean you shouldn't help Dara. You're right, Ruby. Come on, Chomper. Let's go find Dara. Chomper, you can, you can. Ugh, not with the nose full of mud. <coughs> this swamp is full of sneaky mud spots. I hope Doc's friend is okay. Me too. Then come on, we gotta find her. The smell's stronger this way. <laughs> She's got to be here somewhere. But we've looked everywhere. Oh, no! Look! Ugh. Ugh. Help! Please! Ugh. Little ones, please. You must find my friend Doc to help me get out. Dara! You know me? But how? Ugh. We'll never find Doc in time. We have to get you out of there now. But Dara too big. How we help her? Uh, there. We can use that tree to pull her out. All we have to do is bend it down to her. Great idea. We're coming, Dara. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. so we can get you out. A cute, helpful sharp tooth. Why, as I live and breathe. I can't reach her. Everyone, slide forward a little. No, kids! <laughs> what are we going to do now? We don't no do anything. Look! Why you were late? Uh. And Chomper here? Why, he risked his little life to save me. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. What for? I was the one who was wrong, kid. You are different. I hope you can find it in you to give an old long neck another chance. Well, sure. 
Thanks, Doc. So, Doc, why were you and Dara coming to the Great Valley? Well, I don't really have any kin of my own. So I wanted Dara to meet Littlefoot and his grandma and grandpa. Which reminds me, where is Littlefoot? Over there. Excuse me. You feel like talking? Sure. I'm sorry I said all those things before. It was disrespectful. It was the right thing to do, kid. Huh? No one's ever really told me when I was wrong before, Littlefoot. Do you promise to keep doing it? Um, sure, Doc. Then we're good. Let's join the rest and I'll show you how to really do that tail whip. The day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come fall on me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Streams to follow all the way home. To the land before time.
Daggers got Sarah? Oh, no, no, no. Hmm. Poor Sarah. Huh? <gasps> Sarah! <laughs> what? I am so happy you are okay. Belly Dragger's not get Sarah. Almost. I was trapped in a big circle of flat rocks, but I knocked them down. You knocked the Belly Draggers down? I knocked the rocks down and scared the Belly Draggers. Sarah scared Belly Draggers? You saved us. Yup, yup, yup. I didn't exactly. <laughs> Sarah chased them away! All by herself! Look, I... Okay, fine. Sarah? <gasps> Sarah scared the belly draggers all the way back to the mysterious beyond! Actually, I... Sarah, very brave! We must find the hole and seal it up for good. Yeah. Meanwhile, you children should get safely home. Uh, okay. Hmm. If it weren't for you, we might not have known about that opening. Thank you. Sarah, big hero! Huh? Oh, me tell everybody Sarah, big hero! No, wait! Oh, well, whatever. Everybody! Sarah Hero! Sarah, save us from belly draggers! Amazing Sarah, scare belly draggers away! Sarah, big hero! <gasps> there she is. The hero girl. <gasps> what was that? Tree stars? But... Why are they falling? Hail the amazing three-horned girl. She drove the sharp teeth all away. Her mighty courage saved the day. She is our hero now. Who would have thought a task so big could be done by one so small? But now we know she's strong and brave. She really has it all. So hail the amazing three-horned girl. Amazing three-horned girl. We'll tell her story near and far. Because of how impressed we are, she is our shining star. Amazing three-horned girl. Oh, hey. The amazing three-horned girl. Well, I always knew you were amazing. Hey, Long Neck. You hear what my daughter did? Yes. I was with her this morning. She single-handedly fought off the belly draggers. Yes? <laughs> I thought you'd like to know. We blocked off the opening in the Great Wall, and there was no trace of the belly draggers. Of course not. When a three-horn chases somebody, you can bet they stay gone. Uh, right, Sarah? Uh, I hope so. I really didn't do anything special. Nonsense. You're a hero. You stood your ground while your friends just ran away. <laughs> Good thing she takes after her father, huh, Long Neck? <sighs> Who came to hear about the amazing Three Horn Girl? I would love to hear it. I did. I sure would. Story. Come on, Sarah. We were just exploring out by the Great Wall. From the Speaking Rock, Sarah, and speak up, dear. Me and Little Fo 
Chocolate and Chomp? <laughs> Get to your part. Sorry, Dad. Okay. So, there I was, just me and the belly draggers, and... She was cornered, mind you. Right. I was cornered by the belly draggers. I, I bumped into the rock. No, no. She's just being modest. But we want to hear the real story, don't we? Oh, me want to. It's very good story. Tell us how brave you were, Sarah. And how you drove those smelly belly draggers back into the mysterious beyond. <laughs> you heard them, Sarah. They want to hear your story. <sighs> okay. So, I was surrounded by the meanest belly draggers I ever saw. <gasps> and they were snapping at me with their big, ugly teeth. They wanted to hurt my friends. <gasps> Scary! <gasps> oh, no, no, no. Oh, yes. But I couldn't let that happen. So I, um... So I led them into a canyon. And that's where I hatched my plan. If it is okay with you, Spike, Today, I would like to ride on the Amazing Three-Horn Girl. Hmm. And if it is okay with you, Sarah. Fine. <laughs> oh, good idea. You'd be safe if anything bad happened during game. Uh, what would happen during the game? <sighs> Nothing's going to happen during the game. Except for my team winning. <laughs> may have been the hero yesterday, Sarah, but today you're just a regular three-horn girl. So you better be ready to play. What? We just wanted to see the amazing three-horn girl. <sighs> You've seen her. story of how you drived it away the belly draggers. Oh, yes. Tell us. Please. I just told that story yesterday. Oh, but I didn't hear it. Me neither. I want to hear it, too. It good story. And Sarah's so brave. Well, I guess I was brave. And you saved the whole Great Valley from the belly draggers. It was pretty amazing, wasn't it? <sighs> Everyone knows belly draggers are scary. But I've always known how to handle them. So when they were chasing my friends, I knew I had to stop them. I guess everywhere she goes, everyone wants to hear her story. I don't think she minds. Talking about Sarah is one of Sarah's favorite things to talk about. Well, I guess it's okay. She did do a good thing. And that's when I sprung my trap. I shoved the big rocks at the belly draggers and scared them all off. Belly draggers on this side, belly draggers on that side. Oh! Hello, little foot. Ruby, you must be here to listen to Sarah's story. We've already heard it. Unlike my friends, I stayed calm. <gasps> I knew I but had we to didn't stop hear him. that part. Then Shh. I headbutted spotted belly dragger all the way down the path. But his two friends, three of them? There were only two belly draggers. Well, maybe you didn't see them because you were running away. Oh. 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 <sighs> Where was I? Oh, yes. Belly Dragger's friends showed up. And they were big, big as two tree sweet trees. And 
never heard of a belly dragger that big. Shh. But they could tell they weren't chasing me out of my valley. So they stomped their giant feet. Then I leapt right at them and told them, You! Get out of my valley! Never to return. Yay! Anyone who wants to hear the amazing Three Horn Girls story again can come back just before the bright circle leaves the sky. Every time I hear her story, I learn new things about what happened. That's because every time she tells her story, she tells a new story. Oh, me no no belly dragon grows so big. Say, maybe that's why I can still smell belly draggers. They're so big. Huh? You can still smell them? Sure, ever since the day they chased us. No matter how big they were, you shouldn't smell them all the way from the mysterious beyond. Unless they never went back. No. Sarah chased Billy Draggers back to Mysterious Beyond. With all her stomping. If she really did do all that stomping, maybe she left footprints. We should go to the Circle of Rocks and see. Then we'll know what parts of Sarah's story are really real and what parts really aren't really real. <laughs> There's the circle of rocks. This must be place where Sarah scare off Belly Dragger. <laughs> she didn't scare their smell away. So, that no mean Belly Dragger here. <laughs> oh, that mean Belly Dragger here. Over there. Well, that explains why I can still smell them. <gasps> Uh-oh. But she scared them away. Did you see where they're going? Yes, and that path leads home. We have to warn everybody, fast! So, Sarah not hero? I wouldn't be surprised if they've already heard about me in the mysterious beyond. Maybe they are telling the same story about the amazing three-horned girl right now. But to them, it's a scary story. <laughs> Nobody messes with the amazing three-horned girl. <laughs> Maybe I'll take care of Red Claw next. Belly draggers! They're back! <gasps> They... they're back! Here? Hmm? Impossible. Didn't you hear the story? Yes, but we saw the real story with my own eyes. And Petrie's and Littlefoot's and Chompers. And we smelled it with my nose. Why can't you kids just accept that Sarah's better than you? She scared them off for good, and that's that. <laughs> Draggers are too afraid of Sarah to come back. Right, Sarah? Sarah? Uh, are you sure they were belly draggers? Uh, maybe you made a mistake. You said you scared off giant belly draggers. Well, uh, maybe they weren't giant. Oh. <laughs> You scared them away, right? Well, well, they did run away, but I, I didn't see where they went. <laughs> In fact, I didn't do anything amazing. I knocked down some rocks by accident, and, and they ran off. I didn't even chase them. Mm -hmm. 
That means the belly draggers are still in the Great Valley. That's what we've been trying to tell you. Is it true she lied? She's not a hero. It's a shame to think that we called her amazing. When she's really nothing more than a fraud. She kept us fooled by telling her story. Never once told anyone it was made up. Until danger arrived once again. But what should we do now that we all know a three horned girl cannot save our valley anymore? Send her away. Don't let her stay. That's three horned girl. Everyone, please calm down. We should have known better than to leave the safety of the Great Valley to our children. That's our job. And now we should find those belly draggers and drive them out for good. <gasps> you should probably stay here. believe I believed it in the amazing three-horned girl. No, no, no. Why would you tell us a lie that is not true? Dad. I'm very disappointed in you. But, Dad. Not now, Sarah. I need to be alone. Those stupid belly draggers fault. They hadn't come. <sighs> now everyone's gonna be mad at me forever. Even Dad. And if they hadn't run away, I would have scared them. With a big roar. Like this. <laughs> Stay away from my daughter! Huh? I said, stay away! Told you that sounded like a three horn. Come on, everyone, let's get rid of them for good. I'm sorry, Daddy. No, I'm sorry. I pushed you into making up that story. But I'm the one who lied. I know I shouldn't have. It just felt so good to be a hero. Oh, Sarah, you'll always be my amazing three-horn girl. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Besides, no one messes with a three-horn. <laughs> <laughs>
Chomper? There are rocks! There are! There are! Mm. Me no look! Oh. Well? What are you waiting for? It the other day. Pretty neat, huh? I can't believe Ruby, Spike, and Sarah aren't here to see this. Yeah, me no believe they go to mud pools and not come with us. Come on, I saw them go this way. That sounds like hip. Look, me go now, me no like hip. No, Petrie, this way. Hey, wait for me. Hey guys, who's Hip? And why are we running from him? Hip and his friends Mutt and Nod are the biggest troublemakers in the Great Valley. They can sometimes be very mean. They can, they can. They're in here somewhere. I hear them. You do not want to step on any of the eggs. Eggs? What eggs? All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come fall. Uh, guys, those aren't just eggs. They're fast spider eggs. Fast spiders? They're sharp tooth eggs? Smash them! You can't do that! Don't touch no, them! No, Wait! No. We found the eggs, so we get to decide what to do with them. <laughs> what makes you think that what's in those eggs won't no. eat you? They haven't hatched yet. But we can't let sharp teeth eggs hatch near the Great Valley. It's too dangerous. Then let's move them as far from the Great Valley as we can. But we cannot take the eggs away from their mommy. No, no, no. What if eggs mommy come looking for them? I know. We can get the fast spider mom to run after Petrie here. Then the rest of us will scram. <laughs> <laughs> That is a very mean idea, Hip. It is. It is. What? He can fly, can he? Wait. Hip might be onto something. Oh, no. I am? Listen. A mom would always follow her eggs, right? So we can use the eggs to lure the mom away from the Great Valley. Make sharp tooth chase us? On purpose? You gotta be crazy! <laughs> <laughs> you said it, Hip! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crazy! <laughs> <laughs> that sharp tooth mom's gonna chase you wherever you take those eggs! That's the idea. Sounds like a bad idea to me. But you guys have fun! <laughs> if we're gonna move these eggs, we need everyone's help. If you do not help, these sharp teeth could hurt someone in the Great Valley. Maybe even you. Do you really want to take that chance? Ah, uh, where's my egg? to hide the eggs in a place just like this. There's a cave in that big mountain that should work. 
Okay, we'll take the eggs there. But that's really far away. That is probably a good thing. <laughs> it, 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 it moved! Is the egg hatching now? Not yet, but we don't have much time before they do. <laughs> Shark -tooth. Shark -tooth. It's probably the mom coming for her eggs. She sounds like she's really close. Then we better get going. Come on. She was close! Is that her? Is that the eggs, Mom? That's the mom, all right. And she wants her eggs back! Okay. Hip and I will distract her. The rest of you, head for the lake past the trees. We'll meet there. Bah, 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 bah. Come on, Hip, let's go! Over here! Look what we've got! Go! Run for the trees! We all hurry now! No time to look back! Follow me! And do not let go of the eggs! It would be very, very bad if they break. Well, I'm not sure. This idea's a good one. What if that fast spider mom were to catch us? Why don't we leave the eggs right here and run? We are too close to home to leave them here. If they should hatch, they might find a way back to the Scared? You scared much? Well, maybe. I mean, no, I'm not scared. Right. Then let's move these eggs. I hope Littlefoot and Hip are okay. Great idea. We're trapped. Now what are we gonna do? I'll think of something. Yeah, just like you thought we should run down this canyon. Be quiet, Hip. I need to think. Here's a thought. We dump the egg and get out of here. We're not leaving the egg. <laughs> oh, yeah? Distracted her. Now's my chance. <laughs> no! Stay away! <laughs> no! Stay away!
Thanks. Well, same to you. <gasps> what that? You made it! You did! You did! It just took a little teamwork. That's all. Well, we better keep this team moving. If we break into three groups, she'll have a harder time following us. It's someone else's turn to be sharp tooth bait. I'm through. Head for the canyon, past the gray meadow. Uh, you guys can lure the sharp tooth next. Good idea. We will see you at the canyon. Good luck, Chomper. Don't worry, little foot. We'll be okay. I know how sharp teeth think. It'll be fastest if we go straight across the water. Ready, Mutt? <laughs> It'll be okay. We just need something for the egg to float on. Uh, oh, we'll need something for me to float on, too. What do you mean? I'm, uh, not a... Very good swimmer. That's okay. I'm not the best swimmer either. Now let's see. That should work. <laughs> Don't worry, Mutt. If you hold on to the edge and kick, you'll be okay. Like me, see? Hey, Chopper! Oh, wait for me! I'm coming! <laughs> Good job! <laughs> Woo! We made it! Now we have to make sure the fast spider mom follows us. Maybe she can't swim either. I'll get her attention. <laughs> I'm here at all. Helping move sharp tooth eggs? It's crazy! It's the right thing to do, and it's helping the Great Valley. Ha! We wouldn't be in this mess if you'd have listened to me instead of that sharp tooth. Why would I listen to you? Chomper might be a sharp tooth, but he's my friend. Uh, Littlefoot? And he's a lot nicer than you. All you ever think about is what you want to do. Littlefoot, the egg? Huh? Oh, 
each other's backs, Chomper and I can hand the eggs up to Ducky. carry this egg alone, could I? We're almost there. The cave I was talking about should be right across this meadow. Oh, not her again. She never gives up! Oh, she loves her eggs. She does. Enough she does. talking. Run! This is it. Over here, everyone. She won't see us here. in there. And they don't look that scary. <laughs> Most babies don't. Uh. <laughs> now they have their mommy. They do, they do. Maybe we did do the right thing. Yep. 
And now no one in the Great Valley has to worry about them. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I'm glad we went adventuring, adventuring, adventuring. Glad we went adventuring and moved those sharp tooth eggs. To see them hatch was such a treat. Who would have thought they look so sweet? Just remember what they eat. Come on, let's go. We did what we set out to do. And help protect the valley, too. There is no doubt. We all helped out. I'm glad we went adventuring so we could all do the right thing. And move those sharp tooth eggs away. Of course. Yeah, sure. And to think, you guys wanted to just get rid of them. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs>